Mercedes Gonzalez has been a buyer in the fashion industry since 1988. She's known all over the world for her pure skill and knowledge. She's here at the African Fashion Week to impart some of that knowledge and she joins us now. Mercedes, thank you very much for your time. Okay, so it's very easy to get caught up in the whole glamour of the fashion we showcase, but it's not just about showcasing, you know, in order to be successful, is it? No, it, it's not. Um, the, the hard part, I guess, of the business is the business part of it. I um, Usually when I interview a new uh, designer, the first question I ask them is if they want to be rich or they want to be famous, because it's hard to be both. And uh, I'd much rather be the guy that sells Woolworth underwear because you know that guy lives in a very big house, then some of these brands that you know, are really struggling just to maintain a, a business profile. Retail is the most important in, in fashion success, and yet it remains the most elusive to most African designers. Why is that? I, you know what, I, I've, I've come to terms with this, and um, in my observation, it's fear. They're afraid to leave the you know, the little pond that they're in because they're the big fish. And to go to international markets, whether it be New York, London, you know, Tokyo, um, you know, Amsterdam, um, I feel that the fear factor of the unknown is one of the biggest uh, inhibitors. Now you lecture across the world on how best to get into the U.S. market. Is the U.S. market still the holy grail for the fashion industry? You know, it, I, I'm jaded, you know, because I'm from New York and, and uh, but for me, it's the easiest market. It's the most accepting of the markets. It's um, the most varied of the markets. And the population understands independent designers. Uh, the retailers understand independent designers. So I feel like that it's such a great place to, to market to. Okay, let's talk about the emerging markets. I mean, the emerging market, BRICS alone, uh, you know, constitutes 40% of the world's, 40% of the world's GDP. Uh -huh. um, in, in terms of fashion and, and emerging markets, is there a link in your experience or is it still the, 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 the traditional markets, you know, the, the U.S. markets and so on? You know, when people talk about emerging markets, they talk about countries, you know, India, Russia. But it's not really about the country, it's about cities and targeting just one city. So in Russia, it would only target Moscow. If it's India, it would only be Bombay. If it's uh, Brazil, it would only be Rio, Sao Paulo. It, it's not a country. And I feel like that kind of perception overwhelms a lot of people when they're trying to enter new markets. So you've bought for individual stores, you've bought for chain stores, and uh, you know, you've seen what has been showcased so far. Um, do you think they're on, onto something? Um, Absolutely, I think that um, the industry in itself is, is hungry and always looking for something new. For the last decade, I feel like a, a mistake that a lot of the department stores did and the chain store was they, they stopped designing and they started doing product development. So, for example, if something sold, they kept making it and making it and making it, trying to get it cheaper, trying to, they, they did it in many different colors, but the design element was lost. And now I feel that people are very particular with their money and very tight with their money and they want something that's not only well made and well crafted but that has a story and has emotion behind it and the African designers that I've discovered in the few days that I've been here have that power and have the design they have the the quality and they have the emotional part. Africa's designers are watching CNBC Africa right now they're watching the show Eye on Gauteng. One piece of advice you would want to leave them with if they didn't listen to the whole interview what would that be? to let go of their fears, to be bold, to be brave, and to look at other markets, not just the local market. I think that, and it happens with every country in every situation, the grass is always greener, and I feel that foreigners would appreciate the African styles and uh, values more than maybe their own countrymen.